Hey guys, it's Keith from Build Your Own Clone, and we are going to do another shootout. But this time, instead of what we normally do, which is comparing uh, the original pedal to one of the one of the clones that we make, to show you how similar they are, uh, this time we're going to be comparing five of the little beavers to each other. And the reason we're doing that is because the little beaver comes in five different versions. Uh, you've got uh, the op amp version the Russian, the Ram's Head, the NYC, and the Triangle. Uh, they all sound like a, a muff, a big muff, but uh, each of them is a little different. So in, in this video we're going to try to uh, break down what the differences are and try to, to, to uh, show you and, and let you hear what the differences are. Um, we're going to start by um, comparing the, the frequency responses of the pedals. Uh, first we'll do with the tone knob at noon, then we'll do with the tone knob full turn clockwise, then we'll do with the uh, tone knob full turn counterclockwise, and the last thing we'll do is try to compare the um, gain, saturation, and compression of each pedal. And as always, when I do the shootouts, I like to have my Super 8 programmable looper here to help me. Um, so um, we're going to have the triangle in 8, the ram's head in 6, the Russian in 4, the NYC in 2, and uh, the op amp in 1. Uh, to get to 1, i got to press these two buttons at the same time. And when you see me press this, the BP button, that stands for bypass, so when I press that, uh, it's usually at the end when I'm done playing the switch back so you can hear the clean tone again at the end. Let's go ahead and compare the frequency response of all the pedals with their tone knobs at noon. In my opinion, I think the uh, the Russian Beaver has the, the most low end response, and that's here in loop four. And, and the next with the best low end response, I think, is the op amp Beaver, and that's here in loop one. Uh, then the the Triangle Beaver here in loop eight is a little bit of a tie with the the Ram's Head here in six. Um, I think the ram's head has a little bit more mid-range though, so I think when I, when I compare these two, I think you'll notice that the mid-range is going to jump out a little bit more in the ram's head, and then um, the NYC, it's not that the, it has less bass response, but I think this one has the most um, treble bite, so let's check it out.
Now let's go ahead and compare the pedals with their tone knobs uh, full turn clockwise. Uh, it's going to be pretty much what you expect. Um, the opposite of what we just did before, the pedals that have the the, uh, the most low end are going to have the, the least high end with the, the tone knobs turned all the way up. Uh, with the exception of uh, the op amp beaver, that one behaves a little bit differently with with the tone knob turned, full turn either way. Uh, so the brightest one uh, to me sounds like the the NYC Beaver here in loop number two, um, followed by the Ram's Head. These two are, are pretty close, but I think the NYC is just a little brighter. Third brightest I'm going to say is the, the Triangle Beaver here in loop eight, and then uh, the fourth is the Russian Beaver here in loop four. Uh, with the the op amp Beaver, uh, this one when we turn up the tone knob, it's not so much that uh, the high end treble comes out, but more of a high end mid range. So to me, the the the, uh, the op amp uh, Beaver sounds like it has a little more mid range presence. Okay, so let's turn the tone knobs the other direction, full turn counterclockwise, and see what that sounds like. Uh, with the, the Big Muff tone knob, uh, the way it works is, uh, you know, here's, here's bass and here's treble, and the mid-range is very scooped out. And when you turn the tone knob clockwise, it raises the treble and lowers the bass at the same time, so it's a sort of seesaw thing. And then when you turn it counterclockwise, the opposite happens. Uh, the bass goes up and the treble comes down, but the whole time that mid-range is always kind of scooped out a little bit. Uh, so uh, as far as uh, the sound of the, the various pedals, I think uh, the the NYC here in loop 2, the Ram's Head here in 6, and the Triangle uh, in loop 8, with the, the tone knobs full turn counterclockwise, they all sound very, very similar. Um, once again, uh, the triangle is going to have a little more low end, and the ram's head is going to have a little more mid range presence, and the the, B, the NYC is going to have a little more uh, mid range presence as well. Uh, the the Russian is going to be a little more scooped out and have a, a lot more of the highs taken out than the other three. The op amp beaver to me sounds almost identical to the the little Russian um, but when you're listening to it it might not sound the same because there's a, a difference in volume so when you're listening to it just try to uh, Keep that in mind. To me, that they sound uh, they sound the same, but I'm keeping the volume knobs of all the pedals at noon, so um, 
on the uh, the op amp beaver um, there is a bit of a, a volume drop when you turn down the the tone knob. The op amp beaver is a little quieter than uh, not quite as loud as the other four anyways but when you turn down the the tone knob uh, you'll hear that that the volume different there's a bit of a volume difference. So the last thing I want to try to compare here is um, the saturation and compression characteristics of each pedal. Um, to me, I think the, the NYC uh, probably has the most gain on tap, uh, so it's going to be the most compressed and have the most saturation. Um, second would be the ram's head. and third would be the, the triangle beaver. Um, the three of them are all really, really close, but I, I think uh, as you go from NYC to, to Ram's Head to triangle, you start to notice uh, the compression on your pick attack kind of ease up a little bit. Um, but uh, the, those three are, are still very compressed. Um, the Russian beaver is... Uh, and I. I definitely notice a bit of a difference there in, in the pick attack. That one's much more um, open, uh, so you'll, you'll hear a harder pick attack. Um, and its compression and saturation characteristics are pretty similar to the op amp beaver, in my opinion. So I'm going to uh, try just playing, you know, chugging along on the E string a little bit so you can hear how that sounds. Um, in the bridge pickup and then I'm going to switch to the, the neck pickup and do some uh, single note runs so you can hear how those sound.
So that's it for this shootout. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of summarize each of these pedals, give you my two cents about them. But uh, you've watched the video and you can make uh, your own decisions. Um, but these are my opinions. In my opinion, um, the, the Russian uh, Beaver, uh, I definitely would say it has the most low end. Uh, very boomy bass, probably why bass players love it. It also has the, the hardest pick attack, in my opinion, which is probably another reason why bass players like it. Um, next, going, I'm, I'm doing these going from my opinion of which has the, the, uh, the least compression and uh, the most low end. Next would be the uh, Op Amp Beaver. Uh, lots of low end on tap. Um, not quite as compressed as the other ones, um, but still just a little bit more compressed than the, the Russian. Um, next would be the Triangle Beaver. Really to me that the Triangle and the Rams Head are really, really close. Um, just I think the, the Triangle uh, has this, the mid-range scooped out a little bit more and uh, the ram's head has a little bit more mid-range presence and the uh, triangle beaver is going to be uh, a little more compressed and the, the ram's head is going to be a little more open or i'm sorry i got that backwards the ram's head is going to be a little more compressed and the triangle is going to be a little more, more open but uh i mean just you would never be able to tell the difference unless you're a b and the two together and then uh at the other end of the spectrum from the the Russian would be the NYC. To me, this one has the most gain, most compression, uh, most saturation, um, and uh, still plenty of low end on tap. But of all the all the all the muffs, I think this one has the, the least amount of low end and definitely the most uh, treble. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.